Um, first off, what an awesome atmosphere. You know, I felt like I was in Eugene uh, South down here today. Our fans were absolutely incredible. I saw so much green in the stands. Uh, it really fired me up. I'm glad we were able to put a, a great performance for them. Um, a gritty, uh, great job. We talk about playing to our standard. I think the first half is the definition of standard play for, for our team. They were 6-6 six to six, uh, touchdowns on offense. We were able to get stops on defense. Handle a lot of stuff that you, you're not able to practice because you don't know what you're going to see. I thought our guys handled it really well. Um, you know, obviously I have an opinion about our quarterback, but it's pretty hard to say that he's not the best quarterback in the nation. You know, throws for six touchdowns, ties a record for Oregon football, goes over 400 yards, and uh, only played one series in the second half. So we all know what it could have looked like. Um, but, you know, incredible performance. Got to give a shout out to a couple of players on our team. Cam Lewis now is the scoring leader for Oregon football. Troy Franklin uh, has the, the record now for touchdowns uh, in a season at wide out. Um, you know, it's, it's caught over a thousand yards receiving. You know, Bucky Irving goes over a thousand yards rushing. So, big day for our guys. But I know how hungry they are for the next one, uh, and that's the, that's the most important one. Start with James front. Danny touched on what Bill does today. It was the most efficient performance of his career. Was touchdowns, a whole bunch of yards. I realize the caliber of opponent they don't want to downgrade it either. What are we to make of a performance that's this good statistically? Bo played exactly how you're supposed to play um, in this game. You talk about efficiency. You talk about you know, getting the ball to the right people in the right time, protecting the ball. Um, you know, he has a, a big belief and trust in the people around him. Bo will be the first one to tell you the people around him make him special, but Bo Nix is special. Bo Nix is special, and uh, he's getting better and better. Um, by game, you know, his intelligence is extremely impressive. His efficiency is really impressive. But we talk about striking when the iron's hot and being playing your best football at the end of the season. And right now we're playing really good football with Bo Nix. In the back, Matt. We just make of your defense and the ability to just adjust on the fly. I think they ran 17 plays with someone other than a quarterback <laughs> at that position. You know, we told our guys today, hey, the first minute they line up in gate, you know that they can't beat you straight up, right? They're getting, they're telling you something. And um, I think maybe it was the first play, right? So. Um, our guys adjusted to it extremely well. Our coaches made good adjustments on the sideline. Um, you know, we knew what we wanted our performance to look like. You know, I'm, I'm sure all of us want to own the standard a little bit better there at the end of the game. But we had some um, some of our guys that we wanted to develop in our program and get them some opportunities to develop and grow. Uh, you know, but overall, really proud of the way those guys played. Second row, Jared. What was the post? I know it's short. But what was the post game conversation like with Kenny after? No, just we, we both appreciate each other, right? We're you know it's not that long ago I was sitting here as a GA at Arizona State and Kenny was a high school coach in the back of that room, um, and you know it's great to see where both of us have been able to get, and it's it's about the people around us that have gotten us there. So I know he's got you know big things to accomplish here. Uh, I know the future's bright, but grateful for him, appreciate him, and, and uh, hopeful um, that he's able to get things going, which I know he will. Front row, James. <laughs> Troy touches the record today, uh, but it's really a, it's a season long accomplishment. What has he what has he meant to this offense? What has he meant to this team this season where he's been making an argument for best receiver in the program? Yeah, best receiver in the nation too, right? I mean this guy uh, is the definition of consistency right now. Um, you know, he, the quarterback knows exactly where he's gonna be at and he's always there. And when the ball's thrown his way, he catches it and then he'll turn a, a normal comeback route into a big game. Um, He's a special player um, that comes to work, that wants that ownership of what it means to be an elite receiver and, and is owning that every day. In the back, Matt? Pat, first quarter seemed like he was hot, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, what did you just like with him and his skill set in this game? Yeah, Pat's a great player, man. And you love moments like this when unselfish players um, like Pat. He's a great example of a guy that just puts in the work every single day and you know probably doesn't get highlighted as much as he deserves. Um, but we talk about everybody's alive in this offense. Anybody um, can be the guy that gets targeted, and uh, I think that was a great opportunity for Pat to go out there and prove exactly what his ability is. You know, um, catches the ball with strength. He took a couple of hits on a, on a couple of catches, but for him to go out there and be our first two scorers is really impressive. You'll be here on the right side. Yeah. Uh, what do you feel like you guys have grown the most just since the Washington loss? You know, I think our leadership is really special. We've got a group in there that can handle a lot. You know, as much as we throw them, it's almost like they, they appreciate the challenge. Hey, if they give us this formation, we want to do this. Offensively, if they give us this look, we want to do this. You know, their, their defense, it didn't necessarily show tonight, but it's really hard to prepare for with some of the pressures they bring. 
I thought, you know, our quarterback offset that by being able to recognize it and check out of it. Um, you know, we eliminated the, the team that normally creates a lot of TFLs because of the way our guys were trained and, and ready. But that to me is leadership. That to me is preparation throughout the week. Like I have no doubt, you know, we're going to be on a short week here this next week with Oregon State. I have no doubt what Monday is going to look like when we hit the practice field because of what these guys embrace. You know, they embrace hard. Right, because with hard comes results, and uh, that's that's probably what separates this team. From Bill, Joe, uh, looking ahead to Oregon State next week, Coach, uh, just how would you assess the opportunity in front of you, and, and in light of how last year went, just you know the game and the meaning and all that. Yeah, this game's our Super Bowl, right? I mean, they're they're obviously a really talented team. They're coached extremely well. Um, it's, I'm anxious to sit here and be able to watch some of their film. I've been able to watch some crossover film of what they've done so far this season. But I always feel like Jonathan has those guys playing their best football at the end of the season. And so it's a tough team. It's a resilient team. Um, I'm excited to see what our fans do when they show out to this game. But uh, this is a big one. All right, James. Cole Martin had a good good day. I was still a lot in the second half. When you take out those corners and passing yards wise, it was basically equal first half to second half. I mean, you may want to finish better, but. How do you feel the secondary held up with those guys, but especially Cole? Yeah, I think they were a little limited in their passing game in, in general, but I was really proud of Cole to go out there and perform You know, um, the way he did. He's a dynamic player. He's a guy that uh, is productive when he's on the field. He shows up. He's going to always be around the ball. I think that's something that's hard to coach. Second row, Jared. Ty gets in there in the second half. Just and like, what did you think of his performance today? How important is it for him to get those meaningful back to reps? Yeah, I thought he handled everything really well. You know, his hand, uh, you know, his arm got hit on the uh, interceptor there at the end, but he's played really clean football for us every time he's gotten the opportunity. Um, you know, slipped once on, on on the run, but was able to accomplish what we wanted to be able to accomplish out there. Front middle, Joe. After the game, when you went over and uh, celebrated with the fans there in the like. Just that moment. Have you been able to stop and enjoy this at all? Or are you so, you know, head down? I don't know that I do it enough, but what I want our fans to know is how much I appreciate them. They make Oregon different, and our players appreciate them. When you come out, and you know, I kind of get fired up to go play, and an opponent's, you know, setting like to go, to, you know, go to a visiting crowd. We come here, it felt like, like I said, it felt like a home game. You know, seeing all of our fans in the stands, the way they support us and travel for us. Um, you better recognize that because that's unique, that's special. All right, James. Uh, <clears throat> further on that, Dan, do you appreciate the big picture at all, given that you kind of started here, that 10 years ago you were bicycling up Scottsdale Road? Like, do, you, do you happen to swing by either of the old apartments? Do you, yeah. like, do, do you appreciate the, like, right now you're number six in the country and you may move up a spot depending on what happens elsewhere tonight. And you're playing for a playoff spot and 10 years ago you, your bike, you know, your car was stolen mile of the road. Bike was stolen. I didn't have a car. <laughs> I forgot. I left my garage open, man. That was a bad move. But uh, yeah, I, there's not a lot of time to go past that I don't realize how fortunate I am to be sitting where I'm at. And I have a lot of fond memories of this place. This place was um, really good to me and my family. And uh, no, I didn't drive by the old place, but I know exactly where it's at. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm grateful to be exactly where I'm at. And I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for phenomenal people. In the back, Matt. You talked last week about penalties and just improving that. Numbers-wise, you did today. How do you feel like you guys handled that? Yeah, I was really uh, proud of, you know, particularly our offense going out there, um, six for six in the first half, able to accomplish. You talk about playing clean football, and when we don't beat ourselves, I think we're a really, really special team. You avoid, you know, being off schedule and, and having third and longers or second and longers because of that. Um, and they did a really good job of that in the first half. We had a couple of those. As we started to rotate some other people in the second half, started to have a couple of errors that we have to go address. But for us to play our best football, we got to play clean football. And today was a step in the right direction. That's all we have for you, Coach. Thanks. I appreciate you guys.